Yo, what's going on guys? I'm Sam. This is iOS 12.3.1. Apple just dropped this a few minutes ago and it came totally out of the blue. I personally was not expecting to see this. I'm still on the road uh, and Apple just seems to keep dropping news that is definitely relevant, things that I have to share with all of you. So in today's update, as you can see by the version number 12.3.1, it's a small update. It's not going to change anything huge, but there are some important bug fixes that I got to tell you about per usual. So if you're excited for this update, drop a like down below as always seriously helps me out and hit Hit subscribe so you stay up to date on the latest Apple news. iOS 12.3 just came out about two weeks ago and today Apple dropped this update to fix some bugs included in that update. So heading over to the change log right now I would recommend updating for everybody because these changes are small and probably handy if you've run into them. First up iOS 12.3.1 fixes an issue that could prevent making or receiving voice over LTE calls that could definitely be annoying and that actually I think is something that I ran into because my call quality seemingly went down after updating to iOS 12.3 in some cases. iOS 12.3.1 also fixes issues in messages that could cause messages from unknown senders to appear in your conversation list even though filter unknown senders is enabled so the feature literally didn't work. And finally, fixes an issue that could prevent the report junk link from appearing in messages threads from unknown senders. That's also something that I, I definitely feel like I ran into because and nobody likes to spam text and then there's no way to report it and it's a little bit frustrating. Next up for security changes, this is actually one of the first times I've ever seen it on iOS, but there are no security updates in iOS 12.3.1. Almost every time is there at least one security patch that's included, but this time uh, there's no CVE entries, so there is actually no improved security in 12.3.1 over 12.3. So I've been using this on my iPhone XS for a couple of minutes now, and I definitely haven't noticed any glaring issues or changes. Also, like looking around for bigger features, you're not going to find those here. There are no new wallpapers, no new tech sounds. Now, as far as battery life goes, I know that's always a big point of contention for any iOS update. Does it make it better? Does it worsen it? Because there was no beta for this, I honestly can't tell you either way because, you know, I've been using it for 15 minutes, but performance wise, I did run a Geekbench test and can tell you pretty consistent with what I've been getting. Uh, I don't think you'll notice any change again up or down here. But overall, guys, that's iOS 12.3.1. It's the best version of iOS 12 yet because it includes the latest bug fixes, and I would recommend updating as soon as you guys can. Uh, we have support for the Apple Card coming in iOS 12.4, so this is actually not the very last update for iOS 12 just yet. And of course, right around the corner, guys, in less than two weeks, iOS 13 with tons of changes from a new home screen, dark mode, nighttime mode, which is something totally different, uh, new books app, new reminders. Like It's going to be the biggest update in it forever. Overall, this update is definitely here to hold us over until iOS 12.4 drops sometime probably in late June or early July. That is going to include support for the Apple Card, a couple of other small changes as well. But uh, for now, we got 12.3.1. Get updating. Let me know what you guys think of this down below. I've been Sam. Hope you're doing well, and I'll talk to you in my next video.